In this lecture, we will study about the active absorption of mineral oil and mineral salts. The carrier concept of solute transport was formulated by Osterhout and uh, it is assumed that a specialized protoplasmic membrane acting as a carrier also known as transporter, translocator or porter is involved in the solute transport across the membrane as the diagrammatic representation shows that the ions the ions forms complex with the carrier and the carrier ion complex is formed and then this carrier ion complex undergoes a rotation at 180 degrees centigrade or by its conformational changes when bound to an ion or molecule. Finally, the carrier solute complex breaks apart in the inner space releasing ion or molecule. These substances when taken into inner space cannot return back to the outer space. The carrier molecules return back to its original structure to outer space to pick up fresh ion or molecule. Several theories of solute transport based on the carrier concept have been put forward from time to time and some of them are rejected and have no significance but some have certain significance in this regard. First of all we will discuss about the cytochrome cytochrome pump cytochrome pump theory cytochrome pump theory has certain assumptions like absorption of anion is independent of absorption of cation mechanism of absorption of cation and anion are different and an oxygen concentration gradient exists and cytochrome system is involved in the uptake of anion which is an active process so this is how the cytochrome pump theory is pictured in, in the present slide according to this theory dehydrogenase Reactions on the inner side of the membrane produce electrons as you can see in the diagram. Electrons and protons. The electron then moves towards outside via a cytochrome chain which finally reduces terminal cytochrome the metal iron plays an important role in this mechanism. The reduced cytochrome of the outer surface is oxidized by O2, oxygen. This causes the release of electrons which then combines with H plus ions and oxygen to produce water. As you can see in the diagram how the water is produced. After releasing electron, the cytochrome except anion A minus which moves towards inner side. When anion reaches the terminal cytochrome towards the inner side, the cytochromes reduce by electrons in turn, the cytochrome now releases an ion towards the inner side. But certain criticisms were 
allocated to the cytochrome palm theories. The theory was criticized. Like it does not explain the involvement of any metabolic energy. Cations have also been shown to stimul stimulate salt respiration. Selective uptake of ions cannot be explained by this theory. Now after cytochrome pump theory, the mechanism involving ATP given by the Bennett and Clark that is the protein lecithin theory. The theory advocates that a phosphate group in the phosphatide act as an active center for binding the cations. So cations binds at the phosphatide center of lecithin whereas the anions bind at the choline group. The complete le lecithin molecule when combined with anion and cation moves inside and then releases phosphatidic acid and choline due to the uh, action of the enzyme lecithinase. Ketans and anions are now released into the inner space. Now the lecithin is regenerated from the phosphatidic acid and choline by the enzyme choline acetylase and choline esterase involving the participation of ATP. So this is how the involvement of ATP being explained by Bennett and Clark in his theory that's uh, that's known as protein lecithin theory. Now there are certain protein carriers that act as channels for the transport of ions. Protein embedded in the lipid bilayer act as carrier and then it forms complexes with the ions on the outer surface. Then rotation occurs at 180 degrees and this rotation results in the release of the solute to the inner side. So this is how protein carriers helps in the channeling process of the mineral salts from outer surface to the inner side of the membrane. The theory the carrier concept involving the rotation of protein solute complex has been criticized by Singer. He advocated that an amphipathic molecule like protein with its polar region to the surface of the membrane and non-polar region embedded in the lipophilic region will not rotate in the membrane. Now next theory that is given by the singer bridging proteins the bridging proteins acting as bridging protein acting as channels through membrane the model proposes that the integral proteins that occur in the form of bridges in the entire membrane act as channel through which the substance is transported the extrinsic proteins bind specific ions or molecules. The peripheral protein then attaches to the integral protein that containing a hydrophilic pore. Finally, a conformational changes in the protein takes place that causes the release of the solute across the membrane. That is depicted in the picture how the extrinsic and intrinsic proteins and their conformational changes resulting in the movement of mineral salts from outside to the inner side of the 
memory. Now come the various factors that affect salt absorption. Certain factors are external and certain are internal. External factors being temperature, pH, light, oxygen and interaction. And the internal factors are the growth and morphophysiological status and aging. How temperature affects salt absorption. An increase in temperature increases in the absorption of salt up to a certain level. At very high temperature the absorption is inhibited. The change in temperature also affects the process of diffusion. As a diffusion depends upon the kinetic energy of the diffusing molecules or ions. Now comes the pH, hydrogen ion concentration. Change in the hydrogen ion concentration of the soil affects the availability of ions to the plants. Decrease in pH of the soil accelerates the absorption of anions. Light. Light has no direct effect but indirectly by affecting transpiration and photosynthesis it does influence salt absorption. Next one is the oxygen. The active salt absorption is inhibited by the absence of oxygen. Interaction. The absorption of one ion is influenced by the presence of other ions in the medium. For example, potassium and cesium compete with one another for the same binding site, whereas lithium and sodium are not competitive because they have different binding sites. Now the internal factors. Growth. Active cell division, elongation and development process promote absorption of salt. And as the root matures, it increases the surface area. And as the surface area increases, the salt absorption also increases. But due to superization, the salt uptake is inhibited. So these are the factors that affect the salt absorption process. In this lecture, we have dealt with the active, active absorption of mineral salts, how the energy is responsible for the absorption of various mineral salts and this is explained by the help of the cytochrome pump theory protein lecithin theory and the carrier concept and finally the bridging proteins acting as channels for the transport of mineral salts from the soil solution to the root surface thank you